Hi everybody, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite and my most used makeup brushes. I know in a couple of my last tutorials, I saw a lot of people requesting that I start mentioning the brushes that I use in each tutorial, which I will do from now on. So since it has been so long since I have talked about my favorite brushes, I figured that's what I would do in today's video. So if you want to hear what they are, then please keep watching. So I have all of my brushes separated in little mason jars with pearls at the bottom. I originally just had three. I had two smaller ones and one bigger one, but Bo jumped up on my makeup counter and knocked it over so it crashed everywhere, broke, and pearls were all over my room for days. So now I have four little ones, and I have them all separated by like types of brushes. So like in this one I have all of my smaller brushes, in this one I have like my blending brushes and my fluffier brushes. Then I have like my foundation brushes and some of my um, like contouring and blush brushes in this one. So first I'm going to start with these brushes because I feel like these are the ones that have probably been the most requested. Uh, really quickly I got the mason jars at Michael's and then I got the pearls on Amazon. I'll link them for you guys. I just thought it would be a really cute way to hold my brushes. Um, besides the fact that I have um, tile floors in here, so if something falls, it's going to break. So the first brush that I'm going to talk about is by Sigma. This is the Round Kabuki F82 brush. And this is the brush that I've been using lately to dust away and kind of buff in the powder underneath my eyes. So when I apply my concealer and then I apply my powder, I use this brush to kind of like buff away the powder and just kind of like blend everything in. You can also use this brush as a foundation brush. Honestly, I don't even use a foundation brush anymore. I just use either my beauty blender or my fingers. So I think for the longest time ever, I felt like foundation brushes were like a necessity. Um, but again, I feel like a beauty blender is the best tool to apply your foundation as well as your concealer. So if you guys are in the market for a good foundation brush, try a beauty blender before you go out and buy an expensive brush if you want. If you want to use a brush, of course, it's all about preference. But for me, I found that I prefer and I always grab my beauty blender over any other brush. I also have a mini version of that brush which does the exact same thing. I like to have like duplicates sometimes in here. Um, this is the Morphe G1 brush. So either one will do the trick. I go back and forth between the two of them. So the next brush I actually had in my bathroom because I was just using it. Um, this is there's nothing left on it, but this is my Morphe brush that I use in almost every single one of my tutorials. I forget the exact number of it because as you can see, it's literally completely gone, but I believe it's like MB07 maybe. Um, I will definitely list it for you guys. I use it for blush, I use it for bronzer, I use it for powder. I also use it to kind of smooth out everything on my face. So this one I absolutely love. It's so soft and silky and it just never leaves your face looking blotchy no matter how much product is on your face. So this one. And then I also have the MB4 brush and it's a very similar brush but it's more of like a slanted brush. So this one is what I use for blush. Um, I definitely use this one way more than this one but I go back and forth between these two angled brushes for my blush. This is the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. It's the F40 and this is the MB4. So again, they're very, very similar. They're both super soft. This one you can even use for contour since it's a little bit more slim. These are the ones that I always, always keep in front of me on my makeup table. I have like a bazillion brushes, but I feel like these ones are the ones that I've been sticking with, especially for the past few months. So these I love for blush and then I have the one that I use the most for contour, which I feel like everyone's always asking about, is this one. And I believe the brand is DVA Beauty, and this is the B07 Round Contour Brush. So this is the one that I use the most to bronze up my cheeks, my forehead, underneath here. It's just such a great brush, and it's very firm. I also have the one by Sigma, which is a similar shape as you can see. This is the Small Contour F05, but it's definitely a lot more soft and it doesn't apply as much product, I would say. This is the one I've definitely been using more. Um, it's really all about pressure. If you guys like something a little bit more soft and silky on your face, go for the Sigma brush. But if you want something that works just as well but applies a little bit more product on, then go for the B07. All the brushes that I do use are made from synthetic hair. I don't use any real hair brushes, of course. So I just wanted to point that out as well. Also, really quickly, I just wanted to talk about this little ring on my finger. Um, it's a Morganite ring. So yes, it looks like an engagement ring a little bit. Um, a little background history on this. So when we were in the Bahamas, 
I really wanted to like buy myself a ring because you know how they say like on the islands diamonds and all that are a lot cheaper so there was a store that was selling morganite rings it's like a really really pretty light pink I don't know if you can see it from here so there was one in the store that I really really loved but it was a little bit too pricey in my opinion so we told the guy you know what we're gonna wait so we went back to the room that day and my mom was helping me look and we found really really similar ones on Etsy and overstock for literally half the price so I was like that's crazy because I feel like when you're on the islands you always feel like you're gonna get a better deal so I knew I really wanted a ring so I found one very very similar on Etsy so this is the one that I found so I had ordered this while I was in the Bahamas and I'm wearing it on my right hand not my left hand and I don't know I just wanted to treat myself to a ring I have besides this and then my opal one I have like no real jewelry all my jewelry is like costume jewelry which is totally fine I always like lose things so I just like always prefer like more affordable costume jewelry but I decided to treat myself so anyone wondering no it's not an engagement ring it's on my right hand also really quickly I just looked it up the place that I found this ring on Etsy is Olive Ab Jewelry so I will link her Etsy shop for you guys who want to go check it out she has such beautiful stuff at really great prices so next up I have this brush right here it's the Morphe M436 brush it's like a dual fiber brush and this one I use every single time for my cream contour. This I use to blend out all of my cream products as far as contour colors. So what I will do is I'll apply the cream contour on my cheeks, on my forehead, on my jawline, and also on my neck. And then with this brush you just have to use very, very light pressure because it will blend very nicely. I feel like whenever I'm using this brush, especially lately, I'm like thinking of Bob Ross in my head and just very soft, delicate strokes. This one I use every single time I do my makeup if I'm using a cream product. Sometimes I'll skip over the cream and I'll just go right into the powder contour, which obviously I won't use this in that case, but this is definitely my most used brush. Next I have my Sigma Foundation F60 brush. And this is what I use to apply my liquid foundation, also sometimes a cream foundation. Um, what I'll usually do, especially when I'm like in between shades, is I'll pump the foundation onto my hand and I'll mix like one or two shades. And then I'll use this to blend it together and then apply it all over my face. Then I would go in with my beauty blender to blend everything in. So of course this brush is definitely used a lot for me, but you guys can also use your fingers if you want to use one less brush. Don't feel like you need every single brush that I'm talking about. So this one I would say is not like a must have, but I do use this one a ton. The next brush that I have out, I actually haven't used it in a little bit, but it's the Artiste which one are you? The Oval 8 brush and this one is really really good for applying foundation as well. Like I said earlier I have been using the Beauty Blender so this one I really haven't used as much but I did want to mention it because it does apply your foundation beautifully. If you guys are more on the beginner side and you're not really sure how to get your foundation to look flawless this brush really does a lot of the work for you. And the next brush I recently started using and I absolutely love it. This one is by Tarte and it doesn't have a number or anything on it. Um, I've been using this end a lot and I've been using this to blend out like my nose contour and also my concealer a little bit so I really really love this brush. So next up I have my larger blending brushes. The most used are definitely these. These are the larger blending brushes. Um, they're both by Sigma. They are the tapered blending, the E40 brushes. I just have them in like different colors. So these are used literally every single day. I use them in my crease and I use it to apply like all of the shadows and all of that so these are amazing I can't go a day without these for sure even if I'm doing like a natural look I'll use like a little bit of my bronzer dip it in and apply it in my eyes to really like open up my eyes these are definitely a necessity in anyone's kit whether you are doing your makeup for yourself or if you're doing makeup on other people as well then I have the smaller blending brushes I have one from Sigma the E25 brush and then I also have the Morphe M433. So they're literally exactly the same. These I use for like the outer V. Just anything that I want to get more precise control with, whereas the larger one is more for like a bigger area. These are definitely a necessity in a kit as well. You don't need two of each brush. I have way more than two of each brush, but I always like to keep two out so when one's dirty, I'll go for the other one. Next up, I have the two brushes that I also use all the time. I probably can't go a day without using them. One is the Sigma E50 brush, and then the other one is the Sigma Soft Focus Shader E52. So they both have a very flat edge like this, 
and I use these to apply a foundation powder underneath my eyes. So as you guys know, I use like the Kat Von D foundation powder usually to like brighten up underneath my eyes and also on the sides of my nose. These brushes pick up a lot of product and you can put them in like the precise areas. For instance, on the sides of my nose where I contour, I like to keep it really light on the sides to really make my nose appear more narrow. So these I can't go a day without. I feel like I use this one a little bit more than this one, but again, I go back and forth. So next I have my Sigma E45 tapered blending brush. This one I also use every day. This is what I use to contour my nose. So I will always use a cream contour first for my nose and then I'll go in with a powder with this brush every single time. So since it is tapered at the top and it goes to like a point, it makes where I apply the powder much more precise. So I'll just dip it very lightly into the powder and then I'll like hold it like this and then just go right over those lines and it just contours the nose perfectly. So next up I have my Morphe E20 brush. This is what I've been using to apply powder underneath my eyes. So sometimes I'll use my beauty blender as well, but if I want to use my beauty blender like later on and I don't want all that extra powder on it, I'll use this brush. I've been using this one a lot lately. I use it today as well. So what I'll do is I'll scoop up a bunch of powder, I'll blend out the creases with my beauty blender, and then I'll go right in and push that powder right into my skin. So it's just the perfect size and the perfect shape that it fits like right here perfectly so when you want to apply that powder underneath your eyes it'll really really set it nicely and then last but not least I have my little mini brushes um, I'm gonna talk about these two little guys first these are both this one has nothing on it um, but they're basically exactly the same I believe these are lip brushes this one is the Morphe M170-4 and this one I'll look for you guys but there's literally nothing on it but I always use these to apply the highlight on my nose. I also use this to apply the highlights in my tear ducts, underneath my brows, and also my boogers, and also my cupid's bow and all of that. So anywhere you want like really precise highlighting, this is what I will use. The next brush is also an artiste brush. This is the Circle 1R, and this is the one that I use to blend out my nose contour. This brush is really, really great. It has such a small little head, so it's good to like do kind of like circular motions to blend out the cream contour. I'm sure there's like a million other uses for these brushes. I'm sure if you look on the site, they'll tell you. But for me, what I used it for personally was my nose contour. So the only shadow brush that I use to apply anything like all over my lids is the Sigma. It's actually a concealer brush. It's the F70 brush. And this, again, I apply any shadows right onto my lid or also even to highlight under my brow. I only use this one brush. Next, I have the M210 brush. This brush you can also use for your eyelids or what I've been using this lately for is a cream contour brush to contour my nose. So I'll just like dip it into the cream contour and then draw the lines and then draw up the tip so it kind of like darkens it a little bit. Um, I don't really know what this brush is made for. I kind of like make up my own uses for them, but I use this almost every single day as well. So for eyeliner, I use the Sigma E10 and I also use the Morphe 250-1. Um, I would have to say the Morphe one is kind of like on its last couple of days. It's had its time. I have to like trim it and like cut the little stragglers sometimes because they're like some parts just like stick straight out no matter what I do. But I actually just got a new uh, Sigma one, the E10, because these ones are a little bit less hair, a little thinner. So I have two more. The second to last is the Artiste Oval 3. This is the other one that I would use to blend out my nose contour. I would say if I had to pick one, I would definitely pick this little one with the round tip over this one. And last but not least, I have my Sigma pencil brush. This is the E30 brush, and this is just your regular like pencil brush. I use this always, always underneath my eyes to apply the lower um, mascara, uh, not mascara, eyeshadow. I feel like I can't go a day without um, eyeshadow on my lower lashes. Like if I'm applying anything in my crease, I always have to match it or do something similar on the lower lash line. It's just preference, um, but yeah, I always, always use this brush. It's perfect. It picks up a lot of product, and it's also good for blending and like smudging out the bottom line. Those are like my most, most used brushes. As far as beauty blenders, I love the hot pink one. I go back and forth between the black ones and the pink ones, 
but I feel like I had recently just bought a black one and the texture felt different and I feel like it didn't work as good so I don't know if I got like a fake one or what happened but I feel like the pink one is just my go-to I had way more of them before Bo came and stole all of my beauty blenders he's a beauty blender thief he thinks they're toys for him so if I ever leave my door open I'll come in and all of my beauty blenders even if I'm like sh I shove them in somewhere they're literally gone it's so funny so yeah those are the brushes that I use every single day they're my most used they're the ones you've seen a million times in my tutorials I wanted to get this video up that way if you guys are ever questioning anything and you need to know which brushes I'm using you can come back to this video but I do promise from now on I will mention the brushes that I'm using in my videos in my tutorials as well to make your life a little bit easier so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are in the market for any brushes these ones I back up a million percent I use them every single day and I really feel like the right brushes can make your makeup look a million times better so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and until next time I'll see you guys later